Hi guys, the way we um, make our calamaris is that the old ISO, if you take an old Excel ISO, let's see if I can find something old. Today, oh my God, come on, click, choose this file. If we find, if we look for an old ISO of Arconix Excel, any of these guys will do, and you boot up, you'll see something strange. New if, big if, if you got internet. So the machine, Calamaris, if internet is available, he says, I'm gonna fetch the code, well, part of the codes from online. And what we've just done, we've added Xenmod, the Linux Xenmod to the kernel. So all the old, ISOs that are now online and you're not at the seaside, you have connection with the internet, right? Not living on an island somewhere without a Wi-Fi, then you can install the Xenmod kernel. So let's have a look. So advanced installation, that's the deal, right? This is no internet. So the guy to the right, easy installation, no internet required, beach installation, this one requires Yes, the internet. And this is suddenly there. On a machine, look at the date. On an ISO that I've built a month ago, suddenly has Xenmod as a choice. And that's the wonders of, of uh, Calamars, right? That's thanks to the developers of Calamars that we now have the possibility to select on the fly on an ISO that's a month old, the new stuff that I just made hours ago. So that's another choice, a new choice that you can have. We'll just quickly go through the motions here and uh, pause the video there at the very end. So you see that's possible now. Next. So it's an old ISO, got internet, get the selection and you'll get something new. Let's see what happens. Pausing. All right, it's done. So it got the Linux Xenmod kernel. What did it do with it? I hope it installed it, right? So with an E, you know already that it says loading Linux Xenmod and Xenmod image. So yeah, escape, enter. There it is, Linux Xenmod. So this is an ISO, that's old. And you can take all the ISOs and it will include Ctrl-T, the Xenmod kernel, even though the ISO was built at the end of August and we're now 8 October. So that's interesting to know that once we push something to the internet, you grab it if you got internet, right? If you got internet connection, Calamars will grab the new config and give you the choice to install Xenmod. Now, read about Xenmod in the website xenmod.org. It does not always work for all hardware out there. So do this on a test machine, maybe, right? Or test SSD, switch like I switch with base and work maybe with one great supercomputer, right? But buy yourself a bay. I think it would cost around 50, Euro altogether, you can see it in the article, made a video how to mount everything and so on. Basically, you pop out the SSD from Windows, from Manjaro, from WebOS, and put one other in there and give one SSD, one distro, one OS. And there will be no issues with dual and triple and all that booting. All right, have fun, cheers.